Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm gonna be attempting to make a funk track and also do my best not to make any funk puns, but I'm not promising anything. So I know next to nothing about the genre, aside from a few viral TikTok songs. And it's not gonna be a tutorial how to, but maybe like trying to. So bear that in mind. So instead of being a nerd about it and actually looking up songs, doing my research, my due diligence, I said, screw that. I'm just gonna call up my friends who are actually into funk and ask them to describe funk to me. So yeah, without further ado, let's see what the funk is up. All right. So from the conversation with my friends, this is what I got. We need the funk track to be about, not about, but have driving energy. How would you describe funk as a genre, fellas? Ultimate driving music. Imagine driving through like the Tokyo lit night streets in a fucking Nissan Skyline. And more specifically, drifting. So, so we're drifting here. Night, nighttime driving in Tokyo. That's the energy we're going for. The main instruments are cowbells and 808s. The 808s need to shake the room. It is mostly cowbells and 808s, man. You need some real fucking raunchy bass. Like, it should shake the room. It needs to be fully dark energy. We're not, none of that light. Again, not my words. So am I going for a dark energy or is it? Yeah, mate. You, fucking none of that light shit. So to summarize, the funk track has to feel like you're drifting in Tokyo at night in a Nissan Skyline. Now, I don't know anything about cars, so let's jump into it. All right. So first things first, I needed some vocals. God bless this uh, spooky black user on Reddit. I got like four or five acapellas from here just to try. I just Googled drifting sounds. And this is the first video I found. So I just got a few sound bites from here. I, I saw Nissan Skyline and I was like, tick. So to finish off my hunt for sounds, I wanted to get a quote. Funk kind of gives me Sigma chat, alpha male, misogynistic podcaster about the grind set vibe. So I wanted to get a quote from a movie that epitomizes all of those things. So I started my search for Wolf of Wall Street quotes. I got a few, I got a few. Now. Let's make the beat. The main sample for this track is gonna come from the Give Me Some Family, no running, no ducking. It already sounds hard, but let me show you. So I pitched it down five semitones and then I time stretched it to 16 bars. And then I used Crush, which is a free plugin. With these settings, I just EQ'd some lows out. That already sounds hard. Follow my friend's advice. Cowbell. Tick. So this is the pattern I use for the cowbell. Already just gives me drift energy. So yeah, the hi-hat is just doing eight notes, no rows, no nothing. Snare. Another element here is the open hi-hat. Every other hit on the hi-hat, it also slides down. So this is the kick pattern. And I'm just going to combine all the elements so far. I have a vague memory from watching Tokyo Drift. I think that the theme song had like pots or pans as a percussion. I might be totally off base, but this is what I wanted to include here. It fits, trust me. And then I went on to the bass pluck. So these are my settings in Serum. I found that the bass pluck wasn't enough bass because my friend told me, rattle the room. Like it should shake the room. So this is like a gentle tickle to the room. I made this very basic patch on Serum, but trust me. So it's just an analog sine wave, pitched down minus one octave. And then in the effects, I just used the diode two and maximum drive. Because this is a song about drifting. So we're driving to the max. A transition effect here to to hype it up even more kind of sounds like an explosion so that made me think let's actually put explosion there i don't watch drifting i don't know they probably crash to top it off the sound of a drifting car used as a riser 
And then we have a quote from the most Sigma Chad alpha male movie. And I have been a poor man. So yeah, this is pretty much it for the first part because I have an idea. Stay till the end and you'll see why. I wanted to drop everything other than the cowbell, introduce a new instrument and then have another drop. The cowbell pattern so far was just the same. Now we're changing it up to this. So I just removed the top notes and it's just playing the bass notes. And then I introduced, which is just kind of like a pluck. sounded very menacing. Then we have a lead. This is the patch for the lead. Then the patch for the pluck. I just added an extra wooshy sound from Kashmir here. And then it just drops into the chorus plus lead here that is playing the same notes but an octave above. So it sounds something like this. Now, let me just show you the mix file. Don't bother with EQ, who cares? Uh, I just put black box analog design. This is like magic on drums, so use it. It's free now. Bass, <laughs> this EQ is kind of like a giant middle finger to anyone who cares about um, actually fine tuning sounds. Played around with it and it sounded good, so. Eh. I just side chained the sample, the main sample. So that's pretty much it for the track. Now I'm gonna leave you with a music video. Uh, that was uh, insanely high budget. We got directors, editors, everyone was just super high budget. Also, if you like this video, hit the like button, comment, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you in the next one. Rich man and I have been a poor man. I choose rich every fucking time.